What is up everyone? Welcome to a uh, basically like a, a tutorial I'm going to do for you guys. I'm going to show you how to do like a sports kind of edit I guess basically. So um, it's going to look something kind of like either like this or something like this or yeah just basically something like this. You can do kind of cool. It can be a sports edit. It can be really any kind of edit. It doesn't have to be a sports edit or anything like that but um, I'm going to show you guys basically how to get something kind of kind of cool like this. So. Um, what you're going to want to do is um, the, f the image size I'm using is 1920 by 750 uh, so you can just you can go ahead and open that um, and then I just have the image here I just wanted you guys to see the size so I'm going to move it over all right and then we'll close we'll close this one all right um, so we're going to basically you can put it to e you can either put it to the side you can center it up you can you can do whatever you want, but I'm going to do this one a little bit to the left because um, this one I did a little bit towards the right and this one I did really far to the right. So I want to switch it up and do do a little bit to the left. So we're going to start with that. Um, all right. Um, so what you're going to need to do is zoom in and use your pen tool. Um, I should have done this first. Um, I'll probably cut this part out, hopefully, um, if I remember. If not, I apologize, but I should, I should be able to do it. Yeah. So. Now that you're done, in case I didn't cut that out, <laughs> or I mean in case I did cut it out, now that you're done, what you're going to want to do is uh, make your selection, <clears throat> and then change, it should be at zeros to change it to one, Pew, like that, and then uh, hit, oh, wait, no, then you got to go over here to this thingy, <laughs> and layer via copy, you don't want to cut it, because um, you want just yourself, and you want, you know, all that stuff, so. Yeah, so that's how we're gonna do that. We have that layer via cut now, and we are we're pretty much good to go. So, with this color here, or excuse me, with this layer here, we're going to go to layer uh, adjustments. Where's adjustments? What am I doing here? No, what? Yeah, layer. Where's adjustments? What the heck? Image. That's that's my problem. <laughs> Image adjustments, brightness and contrast. Oh, what am I talking about? I'm getting ahead of myself. Adjustments. <laughs> black and white okay All right. and then also uh, filter blur Gaussian blur uh, and then I like to I don't know I normally do like 4.2 and then I decide like eh, is that enough is that not enough and then normally it's not enough for me so uh, so I go back in there and then I turn it down a little bit and then just so that way it adds a little bit more to it so that's what I do there and then uh, I'm gonna actually create a new layer so I don't I'm not working on top of that one. Um, let me actually. All right, that's fine. And and then I'm going to um, not do a complete white, but we're gonna do like a let's go with like a gray type, like like this grayish yellow type color. So uh, if you want the same color as me, you can do C9, C9, B, D, um, right there. Obviously, so we'll go with that. Um, we're gonna change this brush to this. All right, actually. Turn the hardness down. What the? All right. Just trying to color color this in a little bit. All right. All right. Turn this down some more. All right. Just trying to add a little bit of a, a little bit more of this color to it. We might turn this down just a hair now. Yeah, no. All right, well, let's leave it at 100. Okay, so that's the color I'm going with. <clears throat> and now I probably could merge those, but I'm not going to. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to duplicate this layer. We'll name this one original or what? Yeah, what? Original. Whatever. It's not how you spell original, but we're going to leave it because I'm just going to leave it. <laughs> and we're going to name this one edit. Um, so we're going to hide this just in case we mess up. We can. Uh, we can come back to it. So, with that being said, we are now going to do what I said before, and brightness contrast, and we'll turn up the contrast to like, uh, I don't know, it's really whatever your preference is, because um, you can see what it's doing, obviously. So, um, I don't want it super high. I might go with like 30, I'm going to go with like 32. Um, uh, but you can do basically whatever you like. Okay, that looks pretty good, like, because as you can see, you can see what it does. But I don't know. So you can go based on your preference, but I, that's what I'm going to go with. And then we are going to go filter, topaz, adjust, 
Um, so if you don't have this part, excuse me, let me let me cancel this. If you don't have um, this plug-in, that's all right. You don't have to do it. You can just skip this part. But this is what most people who do sports edits or anything like that, they, most of them use this. So um, if you want it to be more professional or whatever, then this is probably what you're going to want to get. So um, you can just either, hopefully I'll put a link down there. If not, just Google Topaz Photoshop plugin, and it'll take you to the website or wherever, and you can uh, you can get it. So we're going to go to the Adjust plugin, uh, and then you're going to want to go Adjust. Excuse me. All right, adjust for preset list, and then scroll on up and go to this one, psychedelic. Click on that. Go into global adjustments details and change this to about 80, um, 80, 75, whatever you want. Um, I might let me see what I like. Uh, we'll go with 80. We'll go with 80, and then um, lower that, and then go to color, and go down to saturation, and go to about 90. 88, 90, whatever. We'll go with 90. And then you hit OK. And then you can see see what we're going for here. Um, the difference is pretty cool so far. Um, all right. Then what we're going to want to do next is go to Filter. We'll go Topaz. And we'll clean it up. And this is another Topaz plugin. Obviously, you can download it with the adjustments or whatever. But uh, we're going to use Flat Style because I just like the way that looks. I think it makes it look pretty cool personally. Uh, but we're going to change the strength way down to 3 or 2. Let's see what 3 looks like. Ah, I like 2. 2 is better. All right, we'll go to 2, and then we'll change the accent to 1, I think. Well, let's see. We'll go to 0. We'll go to 0, and then we'll leave the, everything else the same. We'll click OK, and it kind of smooths, smooths it up, makes it look nicer and, uh, and whatnot. So that's pretty good there. All right, so now we're going to duplicate the layer. Uh, control J if you're on a, a PC. Okay, and then we're going to what are we gonna do? Um, we're gonna do filter other high pass, and we'll go with the uh, we'll go with let's go with like 19.6 on this one, and we'll hit Control I, um, and that inverts it, and we'll change this to vivid light like that and then we're going to turn the opacity way way down alright to about 14 or so or 15 eh, we'll do 15 or so and then that's so that's done um, and then we can we should be able to merge these down yeah okay sorry alright and then we're going to hit um, we're going to control J make another layer and we're going to zoom in whoops whoa 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 there we go. All I was trying to do was zoom in. Um, but we're going to create a new layer and we're going to do a uh, whatever. I forget. I don't even remember what it's called, but whatever. Put a layer on top of it by doing Alt and getting that little arrow. I don't even remember what it's what it's called. Look at me being a noob and everything. But we're going to go ahead and make this all like. It's probably, yeah, I would say it's going to move my. Alright, no. Let's go to here. Like that, okay. And then we'll do it here. And we're gonna have to do this for oops for all the skin. Um yeah, alright. And you just gotta be careful once you get to the, the jersey and stuff, because we're gonna want the we're gonna make it where the jersey is the only thing still in like full color. Um obviously the jersey's white, so it's not not like too significant, but so we'll do that and then we'll uh fill path with white oh that's not white I need to make it white sorry we'll do white um, fill path white and then okay and then we gotta move over here oops come on alright there come on seriously alright so I'm struggling right now alright let's finish doing this here and again it doesn't really matter especially if your jersey or whatever is white um, because I mean it's white so it's not a big deal but try to be as good as you can all right make sure I couldn't see any hands we're good okay so we need to do some white here okay so just gotta finish this up real quick 
That's terrible. <laughs> All right. Here we go. Um, I'm gonna do my hair as well. I don't really care that it if it gets colored to white, so we'll do that. Uh, fill path white. Okay. All right, we'll zoom back out, and then what you do is um, you change it to hue, and then you merge these down. Okay. And then we'll just merge these as well. Okay. So now we have that, and that um, our jersey is the only thing in color now, along with our shooting sleeve, but that's not a big deal. So now that we have that done, our next thing that we need to do is duplicate this. So we have another layer now, another us layer. We're going to go to filter and we're going to liquefy. And uh, originally your brush size is probably massive and you probably just have that. So you're like, what the heck? I can't, I can't see my brush. Just change it to like 151. Um, there we go. All right, 151. And then you're going to want to stretch out everything. Yes, it's gonna look very funny. Um, try not to uh, try not to to laugh too much. Um, it's pretty funny though, so if you laugh, it's pretty understandable. No worries. But we're just gonna stretch ourselves out, or whatever it is you're working on, to uh, to whatever you can. And um, what you're gonna want to do is where you want more like shrapnel looking stuff or more like explosion looking stuff you're gonna wanna make it go out farther like if you want more down here like more shrapnel down here you're gonna wanna make it go out farther if you want less over here don't make it go out as far you know so that's that's what you gotta do um, and yeah I mean that's, that's just pretty much it okay so now we're gonna hit OK so now you're like what the heck this looks odd so you're gonna add a layer mask and then you're gonna do control I we're gonna invert it again and then we're gonna get our brush and I actually bought these brushes. <clears throat> Excuse me. I bought these shrapnel brushes. Um, I will link them. Hopefully, I, I really hope I don't forget to do all this. If not, I'm sure you can find some like <clears throat> download some like ex like explosion looking brushes or something. Or if you have some already, then you're good to go. But um, I downloaded these, and yeah, so we're gonna use these. So I, um, you want your color to be white, and then see how it like kind of um, like just yeah. I don't know how to expl explain it, but it kind of like looks like a uh, an explosion type effect and um, I know some people are like hey don't overdo it but what I like to do is focus on like certain points um, like say I want it over over to the right of my head more I want like one of these big pieces you can put it like right ne next to the head um, or or say oh, sorry that's a bad example say I want it more down over here to the left um, but that there's that big piece next to my head that I don't want so what I will, what I'll do is I'll go in and I'll just erase the ones that I don't want, like the massive pieces. Like if I don't want that there, I'm gonna go get rid of it. But it can, I can still, you know, like have a good amount of little pieces of shrapnel and stuff. So that's what I like to do. Everybody's like, don't overdo it, don't do overdo it. And I understand, like you don't want to overdo it, but I want to get the pieces I want where I want. And it's kind of hard because you can't really make the brush like, you can't really make it small and get the same kind of shrapnel, you know. So. Um, if you have to delete, uh, or excuse me, if you have to erase stuff, then that's what you have to do. It's not a big deal. Um, I would recommend just doing what I what I said to do there. So um, you can do that, and then just I like to leave that layer in case I, I want to mess with it later. But we're gonna make another layer right here, and we are going to um, what color? Sh um, either black or white. We'll see. I don't know. We'll, let's, what does white look like? All right. Yeah, we can do white, but we're gonna make it like over here. Um, we only went a little bit up in the corners and stuff, and this is like kind of just to add some more stuff to the background, because um, you know you gotta have stuff in the background. You can't even see it over there anymore. All right, and like I said, if if you ever if you want more stuff, um, whoops, what the heck? You gotta go uh, and you need to delete like erase stuff. Not a big deal, but we're gonna turn this opacity down as well. We don't want we don't ma want massive massive amount. And this looks really odd. What is that deal? Oh, it's because it's fucking white. All right, we need this color back. Need to brush, please. Okay, and then let's turn this down. <laughs> I was like, well, this looks really odd. I don't know what the deal is, but this is really odd. Okay, so we'll erase it, and then so if you want to get rid of, oh, I need to turn this fancy down some more. I really don't want too much amount. Okay, but I actually like that. I don't think I really need to erase too much. Um, I'm okay with kind of where where everything ended up going. 
So yeah, I think I like how that looks so far. So what we're going to do now is add a new layer, add it to the top. And then if you have like team colors, whatever, obviously mine's red. So I could actually get the same time. I'm going to try that. I'm really, all right. Um, and I'm going to try, I'm going to try something different. It might not work out. Um, if it doesn't, I'll, I'll just switch it. But I'm going to go like, oops, that didn't work. All right. Like that. We'll turn this down. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to like this too much, but that's okay. So we'll do that. I mean, if I don't like it, I'm going to change it. I'm not saying I'm not going to change it, but we'll do like that. And then, all right, and we'll turn this down some. Nah, see, I don't really like that. I was kind of, see how his is, uh, I like his a lot more. Okay. Yeah, we're going to have to do that. All right. Um, we'll get rid of this. Actually, I want that color back. Let me get this color back, please. Thanks. All right. So what we're going to do instead is just go like so. And then we're actually going to just do black. But let's turn this down some first. Let's go with like 50. We'll do like 50%. All right. And then this will be black. I think we'll, I think we'll do black. All right. Let's try that. I don't. That's not very much. All right. That's not bad. All right. I like that. That's, that's pretty good so far. All right. So then we're gonna change this to white, and we're gonna add like kind of like a lighting effect. Um. So we'll go with like there maybe I think, and then we'll turn the opacity down, and it'll look kind of like a light. And actually, I'm gonna turn this down a little bit more. The red's a little much, along with the black. Black is a little much. It's kind of too dark. All right, but I'm actually liking the way that's looking so far. So um, I don't know if you guys are liking that so far, but I kind of like it. But then what I like to do is um, put it here. I like to add some kind of like random brushes. Like um, you can download some um, some like um, chemical type ones. I'm not gonna leave, I'm not gonna do this. I'll just show you what it looks like um, and kind of mess around. That's what I did on this one, or the one I really liked, it was kind of like, uh, I forget what this is called, but these are really cool um, circles. I forget exactly what they're called, but these are extremely cool to use, and I'm probably going to use them on this design. Um, so what I need to do is find the one I want. I may do that one. No, that one's pretty cool. So is that one. They're all really cool. I really like this. All right, we're going to do it this because it's kind of like basic. So, But we're going to turn this way down. All right, like that. Give me some red, please. And then we're going to switch it up and use a different one. We'll go with this one. Yeah, this one's good. Turn it way down and then add that one like there. Yeah, like that. And then I'll add one down here. Just, just in case. All right, and then actually, I'm going to also, unless it's overdoing it, we'll see once we do it. Add some of these, but I need to do it on a different layer because I don't know if I want it. Whoops, I don't know if I want it to be. Uh, um, I don't know how, like bright, you know. I want it. That's kind of what I'm trying to say. All right. I know that needs to be smaller. All right, kind of want it like far back there. Alright. Like that, and then I let me try to get some black in there as well. You can't even tell it's black, but that's alright. So yeah, all right. I kind of like the way it's looking. So that's kind of like the design itself. Like you can mess around. There's so many things you can do with this. Like it's kind of insane how, like all the different types of things you can do with this. So I think they're, I don't know, I just like this design. I think it's kind of cool. So. I'm actually going to go with black, yeah. Um, and we're going to add some text. Um, we'll do my name. Oops. Because if, if you were to do like an NBA player, you could do their name. Um, let me put this on the top, I think. Like that. I don't want to be... Alright, um, we're going to turn this down though. Um, what was the opacity I did for his? Because I really like the way that looked. 58? Alright, let's try 58. Alright, 
58. Um, so you could do. I don't want this. This is big though. Um, so you could you could put it. I don't know. There's different places you could put put it, but I'll put it there. We're gonna duplicate this, and then you can put the team name. Um, my, I'll do my team name. All right. Whoops. If I could spell, did I spell any of that correct? <laughs> yeah, I did. Okay. All right. Um, but then make what I would do is make the uh, the team name smaller. Personally, I just think it, I don't know, it looks better that way. All right. Okay. So I think that's pretty pretty much it. You can you don't know we can't that, ah see it's, that's where unfortunate I'll have to move it because that's in the way. <laughs> yeah, the shrapnel's in the way. All right. We could do like that, but then move Cabarrus over to this side. Yeah. Alright, so you could do something like that. I don't know. I just, I don't know. I like the way it looks. So, this was a, uh, a somewhat quick tutorial. I'll back it up some from you so you can see. That's kind of what, what it would look like from a distance. So, um, yeah, I don't know. It was, a, it was a fairly long tutorial, not a quick tutorial. But, again, it kind of takes time. It's not really something you do in five minutes. But, hopefully, it does help you guys out. If it does, let me know by hitting a like rating. If you want to see more tutorials and stuff like that, um, let me know in the comment section below. I'd appreciate that. Um, I would like to do that since that's what I'm going to college for, you know, design and stuff. So <clears throat> if you guys want more tutorials and stuff like that, then just let me know. And yeah, hope you guys have a wonderful day, and I'll see you guys later. Thanks so much for watching. Peace.